Hello everybody. Today's lesson, I'm going to teach you how to play Neo Thrash. You know, that new thrash movement that somehow took a very bare bones and raw style of music and watered it down even more. And somehow, 20 years, 30 years after the fact, made it worse than better. So, no, I'm not really going to be going over any legendary bands that I'm wearing here. But, I'm wearing these because the first rule of Neo Thrash is you have to look the part. If you don't look the part, you're a poser. Or you're just a ripping off another band. Um, it's only okay to rip off bands if you're dressed like uh, if you're going to see them. Uh, secondly, there's really not much to it. I mean, you just take 80s thrash riffs and, you know, just put a little bit better production on them. Um, dumb them down, a, you know, a hair. And make sure all your solos sound like Slayer from the mid-80s. So, first things first, uh, your rhythm. You're going to want to start with some kind of sequence with the open E note, you know, played rapidly with alternate picking, such as... And then what you're going to do is do that same exact thing, except play it on the A chord. And then, you know, throw in some sped up Judas Priest rip off riffs. And you also have to make sure your singer sounds like he's about to vomit by going, Ugh! So, this is also kind of a vocal lesson, too. Um, practicing your gang vocals, especially. You want to make a similar sound, so... And remember, your solos have to be even less technical than Slayer's solos in the mid-80s, so, you know... And you actually have to make sure you're doing a blues scale, like a pentatonic scale that I went over in my other lesson. And if you can't play that, you're shit. Um, you basically play that, but extremely sloppy. Something like that. Maybe a little bit less vibrato at the end. Um, yeah, that's all there is to it for Neo Thrash. Uh, Hope you enjoyed this lesson. I'm going to take these stupid sunglasses off and this hat. Suck my dick.